Hi there, I'm back again for uh, installment three in my series on Neptune in the birth chart, Neptune through the houses. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about Neptune in the third house. And this is also relevant for people who have um, a Neptune Mercury contact. So Neptune in um, the third house means that the planet Neptune is in the house of Gemini and the house that is ruled by Mercury um, in the birth chart. That is the third house and the third house pertains to um, communication. It um, pertains to your local neighbourhood, it pertains to the way your um, mind works, it pertains to um, your uh, social interaction with people who um, are around anyway. <laughs> um, it pertains to how you um, communicate, write, all of these things, um, so, and, and how you think. Um, so it's a pretty basic and important house, um, and placements there can, um, really affect us. So when Neptune is placed in that kind of house, we have a kind of, um, imaginative way of thinking, maybe an artistic way of thinking. Um, we can have a storyteller um, or somebody who tends to mythologize um, things in their minds. Um, we can have somebody who has incredibly vivid and um, significant dreams. You can have um, somebody who's very good at tapping into um, other realms, um, somebody with psychic abilities. You can have somebody with very um, a, a flair for creative writing. You can also, on the, let's say, what might be judged as negative side, um, have somebody who is a storyteller in other ways. They might be, um, they might be tempted to tell fibs a lot of the time um, or some of the time um, even just to make stories more interesting to exaggerate them to put a little inject a little magic into them um, but also could be vague um, unclear in their communication and perhaps frequently misunderstood by others for not being clear enough um, either intentionally or unintentionally um, deceiving people. Um, it can also be somebody who's a daydreamer um, and who finds it difficult to discipline their thoughts. Um, and for that reason, people like this are usually more suited to creative pursuits. Um, it might draw one towards using recreational drugs, um, such as psychedelics, when, with a person being interested in, let's say, altered states of perception. Um, it also could um, give the person a tendency to communicate in such a way as is very passive, could almost have um, a victim um, mentality because when Neptune is expressed that, that would usually be with a Neptune that was badly aspected let's say um, because when um, Neptune is afflicted and it would be in the third house or connected to Mercury it could it could come out in that way because Neptune does have that side um, which is a bit overly passive, a bit like um, trying to push push away the responsibility to uh, to other people. So um, 
that's all for that installment and i hope you enjoyed it i really really appreciate your likes your subscriptions and your comments so thank you and take care